Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing and talking about Superman and Lois episode 11. This episode wasn't by far my favorite, but it was still an awesome episode, and I really love what they did with the flashbacks. Before we get into my deep dive spoiler thoughts of Superman and Lois episode 11, if you guys are new around here and do enjoy these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn notification on so you don't miss any time I upload a new video or I go live. But without wasting any more time, Let's get into it. So I wanted to start off by saying this entire episode felt like a whole movie to me. I really, really felt like the production value on this episode was so high. This is definitely the best produced episode on this entire show so far. And that's saying a lot because this show's budget has been so well used and it doesn't feel like they're wasting it on just certain scenes. It does feel like they saved up a lot of it for this episode itself because this episode had a lot of CGI and VFX and they all looked phenomenal. They were almost movie grade. There were just a few shots here and there that didn't look the best, but other than that, the show was, in this episode specifically, was awesome. The show was awesome in terms of how it uses its budget, and honestly, they use it super duper well, and that's one thing that I really, really do love about this show. So like three-fourths of this episode was a flashback, and the other one-fourth was a current day stuff where Superman, we'll, we'll get into that later, but I just specifically wanted to say that during the flashback sequences, the writing was super well done. None of it was ever super cheesy, and it was literally telling a love story between Lois Lane and Superman and how their life progressed throughout the years. Not to say that the writing was bad in like the final one fourth of the episode where they were in current day, but I definitely felt like the way they wrote the episode during the flashback made it feel like it was moving the plot forward when it really wasn't. It was just giving more context on the characters themselves, which I really, really liked. It also felt like this episode at first was somewhat of a filler. And then as the episode kept progressing on, I was like, okay, this doesn't feel like a filler, but I feel like it is just because the fact fact that there's 15 episodes every show has somewhat of a filler episode where they just try to set a bunch of stuff up while keeping the basic storyline just underlined it's not too prominent but I realized about halfway through this episode that no whenever like whenever Superman was awoken by the by Morgan Edge that's when I realized no this is not just any filler episode it might have felt like a filler in the beginning but all of that was context at context as to how much Superman cares for his family and what he'd sacrifice at the end of the day he literally sacrificed himself for his his family. The backstory felt warranted, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because it didn't feel like it was super forced to be in there. It felt like it was naturally part of the story for us to understand and see his backstory. But moving on to that one fourth at the end of the episode, because I can't really say much about the flashbacks, because this is just a basic flashback. They just told a regular story. But once we got to that final one fourth of this of this episode, I like that we got the closure on Sarah's dad, how he's now a new man. He was obviously trying to be a good man, and then he got tested on by Morgan so now we see some closure on him we also got very very limited screen time for john jordan and sarah and just basically everyone in general except for superman and lois and edge so i really really liked what they did with those four characters because i definitely felt like they could have just not had them in the episode at all but i liked that they're still there everyone has somewhat of a prominent role in every single episode they're all there no matter what and it's these this main core cast that always keeps coming back and you always have some sort of moving forward in their specific storyline and it's either for better or for worse but it's always happening which makes the show so great because you don't feel like anyone's actually left out I also feel like if we had gotten more screen time for the rest of the cast and they kind of took away from Superman and Lois' storyline, we wouldn't have gotten that whole that Superman gets taken over by Morgan Edge and his father storyline. And that wouldn't have been nearly as prominent or nearly as well done in general because I felt like there were slower moments and that was all super duper well done. But moving on to how Superman literally turned evil at the end of this episode, I felt like I knew it was gonna happen eventually, but I didn't expect it to happen this way. I didn't expect us to know this much about Morgan Edge's backstory in one episode including the, the the flashback on superman this episode there was just so much to unpack here and i really really love the way that they explained morgan edge and how he wanted to be evil and then how they turned superman evil and all that kind of stuff I feel like I knew he was going to turn evil because of the clips we saw before, but I never ever thought that it would be he would turn evil in this way. I just want to say Edge is a great villain. I would definitely say before this one specific episode, he felt like kind of like a mid-villain. He didn't feel like he was that important. It didn't feel like he was the main person in this storyline. But as we're getting closer to the season finale, Edge is taking on a very prominent role, and that's really what I do love to see. I feel like him, like his him trying to make Superman get on his side because of the family, like that. 
that was kind of a cheesy thing sacrificing for your family that's like in every tv show or sacrificing for your team or your friends all that kind of stuff but that father storyline from krypton on how edge's father made made him sacrifice and like made him feel pain and that's what they did to superman to make him evil all of that stuff made edge so great as a villain overall and honestly i just can't wait to see where this all go but yeah guys that's my review for episode 11 of superman and lois so let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below also if you haven't checked out all of my other superman and lois episode reviews make sure to do so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time peace Thank you.